name is Tamara Chambers. And my name is Rachel T. And this is Tamara's Never Seen with special guest Rachel T. Yay! Every time we're together, we're like, oh, we're gonna do one of these episodes. And we don't. We never do. Never. We talk. We do other things. We were talking with Doug Walker about what movie we should do, and it came up that neither of us has seen Mamma Mia. What did, okay, what did you think <laughs> Mamma Mia was going to be going into it? You know, I thought like, well, maybe it, maybe the musical numbers will be good because that'll that'll make a terrible script okay. Mm -hmm. I thought that the cast was so good that like it, it, there was no way it was going to be as bad as Doug and Rob Walker say. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. No Sometimes way. you know, they, and we we have different tastes. <laughs> we like <laughs> musicals. musicals. Do you like Moulin Rouge? I love Moulin I Rouge. I love Moulin Rouge. I love it. I even like the bad mo movie musicals. Mm -hmm. Like, I loved Phantom of the Opera growing up. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh. Of course. My God. The 70s Jesus Christ Superstar is it's so amazing. good. It's so good. They're just screaming for Jesus. They're screaming, literally screaming for Jesus. Literally. So, yeah, I think I was expecting that. Just, just <laughs> at least fun. I guess we'll get into it. Will you snap with me? Yeah. One, two, three. Mamma Mia! <laughs> Here I go again! Bad! It was so bad! That's our review. Bad. Bad. The end. Bye. See you guys next week! No. I mean, in bad. my notes, there's bad. just giant. Here's a, a big, big no. Nose. That's a big one. Movie stop. No. Movie stop. And it didn't stop. No. No. And I know that this is a story that was already in existence. Did they take away from this? Because you've seen the stage I, version. I actually haven't. Oh, wow. Yeah. I like to. I wanted to go see it when it was in my town, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get a ticket because it was sold out. Everyone loves Mamma Mia. Mia. And the second movie came out, which I did mm -hmm. see for Tamara just saw, I didn't love it, but all the reviews were like glowing for it. And I was like, oh, I didn't love it because I didn't see the first, I guess. Yeah. No. First thing I want to talk about is how you don't get to know Amanda Seyfried's fiance at all. Oh, he's the worst. Like their first scene is I think he's like saying hi to her friends and she's like, get out. And Leave. Like, <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Maybe don't get married tomorrow. Yeah. And then like the second time you see him, he's singing about how jealous he gets of her. Yeah. With the three old men. <laughs> Which that will go. That's a whole that's other. That's a whole other. And then the relationships between the young three friends and the older three friends mm -hmm. is just 100% screaming. That's it. I mean, that's all women do, right? When they see it, mm -hmm. they just scream. Mm -hmm. They just yeah. screaming when they're excited. Not even just like when I see a, a friend for the first time in a long time. It's like just 24 seven. We're really restraining ourselves right now. We edited out all the screaming. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> 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 I've ruined our framing. It's gonna be the first time that we're glad that the mic is clipping. Yeah. <laughs> right? Anytime the girls would all be screaming at each other, there would be like four Greek people in the back just looking at them like the Like doing job on the boat. Yeah. Like, are these, who are these ladies? Who are the <laughs> screaming? I like how this is what we, this is what boat people do. Cranking something. You just, yeah. So their relationships were not well developed. They just like wanted you to think that they were because of how much screaming they did. Yeah. They were clearly excited to see each other. Well, I mean, to be fair, the three younger friends gave us a lot of context when they first, <laughs> when they first reunited. I'm like, the tall one. <laughs> I'm the tough one. <laughs> and I'm tiny. <laughs> Why would you choose that as your, I know they're all trying to get T names, but that's so sad to me to think about Describing yourself as just tiny. That's it. That's all you have going for you. Like that's your legacy. That's your personality I, trait. I, I'm tall. I'm tough. The writing didn't put anything that was tough in her character. <laughs> yeah. There was nothing that yeah. was tough. I feel like the actors knew that they were in a bad movie and just gave up. Especially Meryl oh. Streep. She had this weird voice that she was doing, not her singing, which was a whole other <sighs> thing. But her like speaking voice was this weird growl, yeah. like weird, like oh here I am, <laughs> I'm a tough girl who does tools. I have power tools and I drink during the day. <laughs> oh. What? Which also 
constantly drunk. Everyone was constantly drunk. They're wasted the whole movie. Big 2018 mood. <laughs> I get it, but listen, been there too much. You know, I guess it makes me feel a little better to see someone like Meryl Streep do something horrible. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, you, you can't win them all. <laughs> She's human after all, so that's good. Pierce Brosnan was just a special little delight of a vocalist. Which one? Um, James Bond. Oh, yeah. James Bond, he, went for he it. can do a lot of things very, very well. And I would say, singing is not <laughs> one of those things. Not. He did give his best though to every time he was he singing did. to give like this smolder eye. Right. Like, Mamma mia, here I go again. <laughs> and it was like, I'm James Bond. Yeah. Pretty you much. cannot resist me. <laughs> Clearly very attractive. Like, so I gave him a pass. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's how that works. Right. If you're pretty, you're fine. That's why Ike gets a pass on everything. Always. <laughs> so, okay, just a little catch up. In the mm. second one, mm. Meryl Streep is dead. <laughs> she doesn't die in this one, because that's when I saw the second, I was like, oh, she must have died at the end. That's very extreme. I don't remember that yeah. in any of the tellings, but cool, cool, cool. So she doesn't die in the first one. And so in the second one, she's just, she has died now. She's not that old. And like, they don't really say why. Maybe they did. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Listen, I had popcorn and it was a whole thing. This story is so poorly done. Like in this, I guess I'm sure it's in the musical too, but yeah. she marries Pierce Brosnan's character. Yeah. I'm not gonna make this day about me, it's about my daughter. And then the daughter's and then like, you did. I don't wanna get married. She's like, cool, well, I'll just take over the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't give me any context that she likes him the best. No, it's kind of just like, like she was the first to act. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if she died at the end, it would have made it more interesting. Mm -hmm. Like it, I, I would have actually felt something for the characters. <laughs> Didn't. I did not. At one point, we completely missed, I think, a big story arc because we were sure. all petting Ike's head. There were four of us watching, and uh, I looked back at the TV, and somebody said a very dramatic line, and I was like, wait, what happened? And one by one, everyone was like, oh, I was looking at Ike. No. I don't even think we rerounded to check. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, definitely yeah, it's, not. It's whatever. I also, okay, to the musical numbers, they were so poorly choreographed. Right. They're like going like this in the background, yeah. and like, Break down this musical yeah. theater stuff for you. <laughs> if it's, the script is bad, but the music is good, people still like the show. They mm -hmm. come to see the music. Good singing, good dance numbers. They were like, Ad is fine. It'll get us through. Right. And it's, the cast is good. That'll get us yeah, through. Yeah, Meryl's a great actress. She'll be fine. No, but, you know, there's only so much you can do with a bad script. What I would love to hear is that Meryl had the time of her life yeah. filming this. They're in paradise. She's just like f***ing around with... ABBA music and like yeah. she knows it's gonna be bad so she's just having a fun time with it. I hope she was drunk the whole time. Me too. Oh Meryl, we just want the best for you. Uh, the loser takes so it all. <laughs> <laughs> the loser is all of us. And she sang a ballad during the wedding and then she goes back up to join and everyone's like, yeah. How'd your ballad go? She's supposed to walk her down the aisle yeah, and, and they're go. all there and she's just singing a ballad on a cliff and we're like, Meryl, your Maybe daughter is waiting for you. So selfish. Oh, the uh-huhs. Uh-huh. A lot of the music doesn't translate very well into acting. Poor, it started off and Amanda Seyfried was trying her darndest yeah. to just act her little heart out yeah. and, or big heart, I don't know. I should have said that kind of condescendingly, but she's like singing this song and there's a lot of uh-huhs that she has to vocalize and that's so awkward. It's yeah. not something that people do. Yeah. I'm gonna start after seeing this film. I mean, Obviously. At a point, you can't act that hard no. in, a, in a song. No. You know, her voice was pretty good in this. Mm -hmm. she, she sounded good. I really, really enjoy her in a lot of things, too. I yeah. think, like I said, the cast was really good. Yeah. I think they all had a meeting the night before filming started, and were like, did you read this script? Shit. Did you read it? I didn't read it. She I bet read it. It's a classical it's, musical. Yeah, we'll like, fine. It's gonna be great. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. But maybe we should take a shot. <laughs> and then they got wasted. They showed up to film and they were like, oh, f it's bad. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Shit. We're here. Mama Mia. Mia. <laughs> yeah. All of the, the three, the trio of older ladies, um, all of their songs were taken like completely down the octave. Oh my gosh, yes. So low. Now, I don't Mama know, Mia. was that the original? Here Is I go again. Like no way. Oh. Definitely. How can oh, I resist you? Yeah. They're like <laughs> harmonizing with this low register. It's really uncomfortable. Yeah. What would be your word if you had to choose oh, one that's word? Tough. Your I'm. I'm the blank one. Yeah. 
I'm the diabetic one. <laughs> <laughs> That's my personality. It would probably just still be the tall one, right? <laughs> oh, technology. Do you remember what? <laughs> the <laughs> internet. They were on the internet. <laughs> That's not, I know this movie was made in what, 2000? Four, five, six in there. It wasn't oh. funny then. It's never gonna be funny. And it's you not. know it's gonna date it. You only know the internet's getting bigger. You mm -hmm. know that's gonna date your movie. Mm -hmm. You also know that's not in Mamma Mia the musical. Don't put that in there. Yeah. Stop. Stop. I hope it's not. I All know. the comments are gonna be like, you wrong son you guys of a bitch, wrong. Tamara. Yeah. How <laughs> dare you talk about Mamma Mia? Get out. Stop movie, stop Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag stop Tamara. <laughs> It was a beautiful location. Mm -hmm. The shots were really pretty. The lighting was really well done. It looked great. We were joking, like the cinematographer showed up and was like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> but people really seem to like it. Yeah. I have talked to people who love it. For us at least, it's because we are musical theater people. And, and we also love a lot of these actors. And so it's just a weird thing to see something that should be good with people who should be good and then none right. of it worked. Thank you so much for joining me, of course. Finally. I know, I'm so happy. <laughs> There's so many movies that both of us haven't seen. So many. All we, of them. We had a plethora to choose from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I will see you all next week. Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. I'm the tall one. I'm the tough one, <laughs> and I'm tiny. He's <laughs> like, I am Worth not it. a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> he does scream to me, actually, when he wants food. He does a lot of screaming. Wow! 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 That's the best one. <laughs> <laughs>